Good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the Dear Love Podcast. You can catch us at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Listen Notes, Google Music, Podbean, all that good stuff. You already know how this go. Let's get right into it. I don't think we uh pay enough attention to our families. Not just our mom and our dads, but everybody. We we really uh take a lot of stuff for granted. I was sitting back and I was thinking just how important it is to learn things from your peers and learn things from the people you're around. We really take a lot of this stuff for granted. We don't really pay attention to how much love is around us. For instance, grandparents. Grandparents are so important to a family. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you really break it down, think about it. It's your parents' parents. So everything that your parents know that they try to put inside of you or that they try to teach you, they learn from them. It's a blessing to have great grandparents. I remember when I was younger, we would go over my great grandmother's house, hell, and great grandfather, and um, just learn a lot, man. Just it's amazing what you could learn when you sit back and listen to people that's been around the world just a little bit longer than you. Because you know we feel like no matter how old we are, we feel like we know everything. And again, you hate to be another statistic, and they always say you know you got to bump your head for yourself. But we sit back and we just know for sure that. We got all the answers, no matter what. We got it all. So we do things because we think we know. And it's amazing how time works because no matter what time period it is, your grandparents always know. Or in some cases, your parents always know. You know how you catch yourself saying, oh, I did that when I was younger. Even though it's different times, it's always the same results. Ain't that weird? I mean, think about it. How many of y'all really honestly listened to your parents or your grandparents when they told you something? Hey, don't touch that stove. It's hot. And you touched it anyway. Not because you didn't want to listen to them, but it just was like you, you feel like You knew something that they didn't. You had some type of information that you felt like they weren't privy to. But when you touched it, you, ah, you burnt yourself. Or don't go out there or, or, no, I got one better. You know, come in when the street lights is on. How many of us did that? Oh, no, we want to kick it a little bit longer. It's a reason for them telling you. When the street lights come on, you come in. But do we listen? Of course not. Dear love, episode 69. We always felt like the street lights coming on is when the party starts. I'm not about to go in because the lights is on. But like I say, learn you learn a lot from the grandparents. Because you got to remember, again, they're the ones who taught your parents. Break it down like this. It's usually the grandparents that get the parents into going to church or whatever, you know, your belief is. But in this story, Christian. So it's usually the grandparents that get you to go to church or they get your parents to go. Because if you think about it, it's always your grandparents that's, you know, the the deacons and the deaconess or, you know, ushers and all of those different things. You learn that way of thinking, that mentality from your grandparents. Not taking nothing away from your parents, but I'm just saying you learn that that thought process from your grandparents. In most cases, because they're the ones who kind of, again, they're a little bit older than your parents. So sometimes they still got to put your parents in a place. And, you know, that, and that looks like crazy to us because we looking like what, you know, they telling my mom what to do or 
they telling my dad what to do. But again, your parents was in your position at one point. We have to learn from the generations. That's what's going to make this world a lot better. Now, I know some of us never had the chance to meet our grandparents or just might not know who they are. I know it's lots of situations. So I won't just say grandparents, but I'll say that person that that gives you that mindset, that person that's in your corner, though, that's like a mom or like a grandmother or like a grandfather to you. Those are the ones you need to seek out. Like, unless you do it already, you should, like, start doing that. Just have a talk with them. You don't even have the, the beauty about talking to generation people. I'm going to just say that. <laughs> talking to people who are older than you and wiser. And again, and been around the block a few times. You can go into the conversation with no expectations. You can go into the conversation with no notes, nothing that you want to talk about, nothing planned out. And y'all are walking there. It'll start with a regular conversation. And it'll turn into something else. You know how many times I was supposed to stop over at my grandparents' house? Let's just say I was there to pick up some mail or something. That pickup mail run turned into a three-hour session. And I loved every second of it. Because you always learn something. It's not just anything being said. But again, it's so weird because we go through the different timelines and it's like they're always right. No matter what it is, they're always right. Whether it's picking your girlfriend or picking your boyfriend. Yeah, you ask your parents because you're supposed to. But if those grandparents are around, they're the ones that's going to tell you if they're right for you or not. And if your grandparents aren't around, most likely I know they, they've done their job. And they and they have given that knowledge to your parents, so now your parents can can play that role now. Because one day we're gonna be the grandparents. I'm a father now. All it's gonna take is for my son to have a kid one day. He only four, so <laughs> but one day he have a kid and, and then I, I now I'm granddaddy now. My dad is a grandfather. And you can see the difference in the way that they talk to the different generations. My dad wouldn't talk to me the way he talked to my son. Or he wouldn't talk to my nephews the way he talked to my sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he talks to them different. And that's the thing, like I said, with grandparents, they raised your parents. So they expect a certain, a certain like, result. They, they expect certain results from the parents. Because, again, they've put those things in you to better your children. Because it's always about the future. You always hear, you know, we are the future or make room for the next generation. So we got to go hard. You know, we got to make sure we learn everything we can to teach the ones coming. Our grandparents got us in church. We got saved. And it's almost like a job well done type of thing. They raised my mom, they raised, you know, my uncle, they raised my aunties, and hell, they even had a big part of our life. And that's when you know you're really, truly blessed. Again, when you can meet your grandparents, or in some cases, great-grandparents, and learn something. Because it's all a learning, a, a, a learning thing anyway. If you have your grandparents around, and you don't visit them or you don't try to learn nothing from them, you a fool. Because it's more to life than just snapping pictures and being on the Internet. Learn something that can better your community. Learn something that can better the world. You can be that one person that changed something. Because everybody got the brains. We just don't apply it. You know how many times we tried to outslick our parents but our parents knew what we were about to do because they tried it with their parents. <laughs> and their parents got on them. 
it's a, a circle. It just keep going around. It's just with different generations. Like I said, one day you're going to be the grandparent. And you're going to have to hope that your kid does everything that you taught them. So that's why you get some grandparents that look at their, look at their kids and have a fit. Like, why did you do such and such and such? Or you raising them such and such. They say those things because, again, they they raised us and they expect us to be a certain way. So when we do things out of character or things that, that they know we shouldn't be doing, they get on us. And what's the first thing that they say? I ain't raised you to be like that. Ain't that what they always say? Even if you ain't heard them say it, you've heard it in movies. And you always hear somebody say they want to marry somebody like their mom. Or I want to marry somebody like my dad. Because they know they know you. They taught you from all the mistakes that they made. And they trying to show you how to make better decisions in life. So now you can take that knowledge and give it to your kid. That's why that third generation is so important. From that grandparent to the parent to that kid. It's so important. You know how much information between two generations can go to that one generation? My son has me and my dad. And my mother. And he has his mother. And her mother. And her father. And remember, kids are sponges. So do you know how much information you can get from both parties, especially if they both act like they got some sense? But that's our issue. We know it all. We don't need any help. We know everything. And shame on you if you act like you don't know that we know everything. If you got grandparents, go see them. If you got parents, go see them. Remember, go there with no expectations, no notebook, none of that. Just go and start talking. Watch what come up. It'd be an eye opener. If you can't make it to them in a different state or something, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone and just talk to him. You will learn a lot. Dear love, T. Shaw, I'm out of here.